Hello everyone. For today's video, I thought that I would go over some of my music collection, and specifically some of my CD collection. So I pulled a few of my CDs out, and I thought I'd go over them with you. And the first one I thought would be appropriate would be the first CD that I actually purchased, or ever owned. And I remember back when I was in high school, I had a friend of mine who introduced me to this CD. He had just purchased it, and was absolutely in love with it. And he had a, a boombox with a CD player in it. And I grew up in a very conservative religious school, and music like this was not allowed. So part of the thrill was listening to it because it wasn't allowed, and I really liked the music. So that's the background of the CD, and I don't listen to it very much anymore because I've practically got it memorized. I listened to it all the time back then because most of the only music we actually listened to or were allowed to listen to was classical music, which I love classical music. Um, but this was just like one step beyond what was allowed because it was modern. So um, even though it might seem a little hokey now, back then this was huge all across the nation. And specifically, it was huge with me and my friends because it wasn't like rock music but it was still just a little bit out of um, what was allowed. So I went out I think about a month later and I had enough money to buy it myself even though I didn't have a CD player. Um, CDs were actually fairly new as well if that makes me sound like an old guy. So, um, I actually looked at purchasing a very high-end stereo system to play this on, and put this CD in, and it was like surround sound, Nakamichi speakers, and it was absolutely beautiful. I could hear each one of the individual singers if I closed my eyes, I could like point to them in space where they were standing around me singing. It was absolutely amazing. So not only was it the first CDs that I bought, but it was also my first experience with really high-end audio. Um, so I have a, a really great memory about that. So that's that one. In the other CDs that I have, I based it around a theme instead of like a style of music. Um, I have a pretty, a fairly wide range of musical styles that I like. Um, but one um, theme of music that I enjoy is music that has a very strong female vocal lead. So I've picked some CDs that I have that fit that theme. So this first set of CDs is from my progression from purely classical music and things like musicals into the next step into pop jazz music. So this is Basha and I have three of her CDs um, again going back quite a ways. I think this is her first one, then her second one, and there was quite a f um, few years before her third one. Um, this Her style is a jazzy, blues, um, very powerful voice, very beautiful voice, um, and that's what I enjoy about it. Very um, poppy as well as far as the sound. 
most often I hear this music being played in a grocery store. Um, so I think that's kind of funny. So I don't listen to this as much as I used to, um, but I still enjoy it from time to time. This next CD is again um, a little bit closer to the classical side of music, although this is um, a singer called Unte Limter, and this is her singing the music of Kurt Weill, who was a German who escaped from Germany during the Nazi period because he wrote very scathing satirical and critical musicals of the politics of Germany at that time. And he came over to America and continued to write. Um, this is sung in German, and I absolutely love to hear German spoke and sung. So that's why I really enjoy this CD. Unter Limter's voice is very clear and very sharp and it's almost like crystal. It's it has an edge to it. Um, it's it's not something necessary to listen to to relax, but again a very very powerful voice and very pure. And um, I like listening to the quality of that sound with the German words. So the next is another amazing voice, female voice, and um, I don't typically like a lot of country music, um, and the primary reason that I bought this is because of her voice, um, although I do enjoy the music as well. If I didn't enjoy the music, I wouldn't have bought it, but um, her voice is just absolutely incredible. Um, she started out as a rockabilly singer. And then several um, years later, after she put this out, she moved into much more of a torch singer, jazz type pop singer, and kind of moved away from the country music. But um, I absolutely love her voice. So that's why I have this CD. And if you like strong female vocals, um, in my mind, you can't ignore the voice of Janis Joplin. Um, kind of the antithesis of Unta Limter's voice. Um, her voice is very gravelly, very rough, um, very untrained, but at the same time very powerful and raw. And um, amazing, for very different reasons than Unta Limter's voice. So, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Janis Joplin. Um, and this is her kind of best of CD. And I will often times listen to one or two of her songs. It's kind of hard to listen to the whole thing all the way through, to be honest. Because um, it is so rough. You have to be in, in the right mood for it. But um, sometimes it just hits the spot. And I have a CD of Inya. This is one of her first albums, if not her first one. And um, I bought this back when she was just getting started. And really enjoyed the fresh sound of her voice and the kind of new age uh, pop sound that she has. And I haven't actually listened to this in a while. Because um, I went through a kind of a new age music phase as well. Kind of moving out of the classical and out of the um, musical genre. My next step after that was kind of like a new age phase. And, um, but her voice is also amazing. Even if it is um, heavily processed. 
through the computer. It's still beautiful. And then we have a, um, another very powerful um, female voice of Alana Miles. Absolutely amazing, powerful, rough, not as rough as Janis Joplin. Um, she can sing in a very tender style, um, but also be very forceful and um, certainly very um, sexual as far as some of her vocalizations and stuff like that. The one thing I always hated about these CDs was how difficult it was to get the liner notes out. You always felt like you were destroying the paper trying to get them out. You have this little plastic ridge here that... There we go. So this is, I think, probably her best and her best CD. I think that she has another one, and I listened to it, and it just didn't seem to have that same uh, punch that this CD has. And I actually haven't listened to this in a while as well, but um, definitely kind of music that will. Get you moving and very hard driving rock and roll style. So clearly moving out of the new age <laughs> um, genre and into some very just good rock and roll, but still with a good strong solid voice. And then we have um, Madonna, the Ray of Light. Um, I like this. I think this is her favorite CD, and it's the only CD of hers that I actually own. Um, the musicality on this CD is amazing. Um, it's more than just pure pop. There's some really beautiful artistry going on in the music of this CD. It has strong Middle Eastern musical influences as well as Indian influences in the music. And it has a very powerful but dreamy quality to it. So I enjoy her voice a lot. And then finally I have another set of CDs from a singer. And these are very obscure um, because it took me a while to find these CDs. Um, and the artist is called Marty Jones and she released three CDs that I know of and I don't think she's released anything else since then. Um, I think she's technically considered country, although her style is much more towards pop with an influence of country in it. And this specific CD right here, Any Kind of Lie, is amazing. It has a musical quality to it that I have not really heard any place else. It is eclectic. Slightly country, slightly pop, but it is quirky, and it is just the kind of music that I like. Um, and the the words to some of the songs are very powerful as well. Um, I enjoy music that has a complex relationship between what the words are saying and what the music is sounding like. Um, I strongly prefer upbeat music, but with words that are more powerful or more in-depth than just your typical pop song. But I don't like sad music with sad words. I like to have the music counterbalance it or make it more poignant. And um, there's several songs on here that are just heartbreaking.
if you listen to just the words, but the music is driving and poppy, and um, I love that combination of the two, like sweet and sour together. And so I fell in love with this one, and then I found that she had done three others. And these are a little bit more common, but I had to scour the internet for, I think, about two years before I found a copy of this CD. I originally um, checked it out of the library, and that's where I found, um, found out about her. So that's a part of my collection of strong female vocals, and some of my favorite. So I will put these back away. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed a brief tour through some of my CDs. Please let me know if you like this. Um, I can certainly do more CDs for you guys and talk more about music. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.